What up, dude bros? This is my pump action Apollo. Oh yeah. Now a little overview of the Pump Action Apollo. I didn't actually modify this blaster internally other than disassembling it in order to install the 3D printed kit. I didn't increase the power or even take out any locks because I think the rival Apollo works pretty well out of the box. Take out the locks out of the box? Did I just rhyme on accident? That was pretty cool. Although being impressed at myself kind of ruins it, doesn't it? Nah. But making the Apollo Pump Action fixes what I believe is the biggest drawback of the blaster in unmodified form, which is the priming system. Rival blasters shoot really hard and to do that it requires a strong spring. And because this priming action works on a lever system, System, so when I pull down on this, my, my wrist becomes the fulcrum and it wants to turn. It makes it a little harder than it really should be to prime the blaster. In the rear of the blaster isn't really set up to be a stock, so it's, it's a little too short and it's really not the right surface material to brace up against your shoulder and rack it off your shoulder. And this is just an awkward place to leave your hand. Uh, top priming just isn't my taste. I prefer pump action. You can have your hand in resting position as well as firing position at the same time. You don't have to move it at all. That's not just laziness, it's, it's battle efficiency. <laughs> Enter pump action, which I believe fixes those problems. This pump kit is made by F10555, which is workers 3D printing section or different like sub company. Nearly all of it is 3D printed. The tack rails that you screw on are injection molded and the metal bar here, the priming bar is metal. Installing it was really simple. I didn't even have to open up the bottom of the blaster, just this top section. All of the parts were installed without a hassle. Overall, a very simple assembly. I did review a pump action Apollo kit a while ago that was 3D printed as well, at least the front shroud. And it made a really just awful sound when you primed it. And that's because it's 3D printed. It has those layers and that texture and that naturally creates a sound. This one has an unpleasant sound in a similar way, but to a much lesser degree. But here's unmodified audio levels, so I'm speaking. And that's without like changing audio. Typically when I fire, I lower everything so I don't punch headphone users in the ear holes. <laughs> Tack rail up on the top if you wanted to put an optic. This is a standard like Picatinny style rail, not an in-strike rail. And then two more rails over here and here. Even if you don't use them, I think they look super cool. And I chose to install the pump action kit, but you can also install a rail. So if you wanted to put a vertical grip, if that's your taste. So super cool front end. Pump action lets you shoot way faster. And the inner diameter of this barrel here does not negatively affect the chrono velocity or the, the accuracy. And that's because it's a wicked wide bore. So the ball doesn't touch that when it's flying through. Moving on to the stock. This is also 3D printed. I think it's pretty cool. It only adds about this much in length. Cosmetically, I think it looks cool and it also kind of lowers where your stock is supposed to be. So the standard or unmodified one is right here. The 3D printed moves it back and down a little bit. And that's a more natural resting position for your shoulder. So I dig that. Doesn't increase it a whole lot, but I'm a pretty big dude and I think that's pretty comfortable. And uh, style points. The Apollo is a practical blaster to use in a nerf battle. Uh, magazine, spring powered, it's small, it's easy to use. But adding pump action to it makes it really primary worthy in my opinion. The 12 round magazine is gonna be the, the bottleneck of performance here, especially in the rival line where you 
have a 30 round Springer and a 100 round uh, hopper fed blaster. 12 is by comparison a very low capacity. But compared to the 30 round Springer, a detachable box magazine has the advantage of being able to have a bunch of box mags preloaded on your body. But that efficiency theory aside, this kit does exactly what it's advertised to do. You know, turns your Apollo into a pump action blaster. Install was super easy, super quick, didn't give me any hiccups or anything. And the end result I think looks super cool. The stock is comfortable and the pump action works smoothly and definitely boosts your rate of fire. And the extra rails, in case you wanted to run your tactics, you know, awesome. So overall, very pleased with the F10 555 kit. So that concludes my pump action Apollo video. Thanks so much for watching, bros, and as always, stay tactical.